I am super excited today purely because of what's in here. I have been waiting weeks for this and it's finally here. So what we're going to do today is going to be unboxing this very exciting package. Well that's a fucking start. How does anyone actually fucking do this shit? Hell yeah! The new t-shirts have arrived! Oh fuck yes. I am so getting some bitches with these on. Oh, they look good. Solid material as well. The charcoal serpentine one. And I've just dropped the other one. Because I fucking suck. And the Damn Dog Games one. In maroon. I know this is a reading your comments video, but I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear the serpentine one. Which means this is gonna come off. Ugh. And if there's any crybabies about me ruining the magic, then suck my asshole. I think the serpentine one's actually meant to be recos, but shh. Ah, uh, heck yeah! So let me start off this with the normal routine. Oh, hang on. Microphone's fucking muted. Hey lads, welcome back to Damn Dog Games and another reading your comments video. You guys went kind of insane over this last time, so I thought it would be only reasonable to do it again. So here we go. However, before we like fully jump in, I just want to address this question that Coyote S sent to me. What kind of video do you want us to send to you? Um, now, what's happened is that a lot of wires have been crossed here and there's been quite a bit of confusion. What's happened is that I put out a video saying like I want you guys to you know, join in, send me your video clips of, like, a celebrating 10,000 subscribers. However, since there's been a bit of confusion, I've just been, like, sent a, like, a ton of random video clips or video game clips, which is not what I'm, I was initially asking for. It was my fault, because I didn't make it clear enough. I'll take this opportunity to, uh, address this and make it much clearer. We're not looking for video game clips that are, like, kind of unrelated to DDG or 10K. We're kind of like looking for clips like this one. Hey guys, it's Balto here and I want to congratulate you guys on hitting 10k. Yay! And to do this, you don't have to pull an animal out of your asshole as well. I love those damn dog gaming videos. Don't you, Sally? Sally? Come on. <laughs> we love him. Congratulations on 10k, everyone. But we're just looking for short, sweet clips, not too long, preferably under a minute. And it kind of does need to include DDG or 10K, otherwise the clip could be, like, pulled from anyone. Also, when you send your video clips in, can you possibly, like, leave, like, a link to your, like, your Twitter or your Facebook or your Instagram? Something like that, just because I'd, I'd like to be able to give credit to you guys. But, uh, for these reasons, uh, I do apologize if I didn't make it clear before. Um, and because of this, we're gonna extend the deadline from the 17th to the 27th. Uh, because, yeah, we, I, I fucked up bad. I, I do apologize for that, uh, again. But hopefully this has made it a little bit clearer. That being said, let's now fully go balls deep into reading your comments. How old are you, Corey? I'm legal. I can give consent. Second Lieutenant Cohiba Fox says, You should really try and get together with Minnie and the crew. It'd be epic. That's actually a goal of mine to reach someday, but I just, I don't want to appear pushy or needy. And if I was to ever collab with him, it would be because he's asked me to. But don't forget that I'm like, a, I'm still a furry piece of cancer who says offensive shit, doesn't care who he pisses off, and I wear a fursuit while I play games. Not everyone's a fan of that. JD22292 says, Would you ever consider coming to America for a con? When you get the funds, of course. I would absolutely love to come to an American con. Like, really, 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 really want to come to an American con. Basically because I haven't b done an American con before. Parts of America are like my favorite places to go on holiday. And I haven't been to America since 2013. So I kind of need to go back. But there is a plan in motion to hit BLFC next year. Not this year, next year. I'm going to try and work my best towards to get there. I love you, Corey. Oh, by the way, one thing I've always noticed is when you do your videos, you only wear the head suit. Why don't you wear your full suit when recording? If you've never worn a fursuit, then trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks, because you fucking cook hotter than a volcano on those things. I mean, I've never actually put it in my videos, but, so, like, a lot of the time I have to take my head off to take a break, because my head gets so sweaty. We played sessions, for, like, between four and five hours long, and it, it takes the energy right out of you. 
I mean, obviously, when I need to go for a, a crap in the toilet, I, I have to take my head off, put it down there, and then I'll, I'll head off. And Switch the Husky says, send memes. Really? I play with Seth. She's basically a walking meme. Darkstar of Shadow Clan 528 says, Could you give me advice on how to let my parents know I'm a furry even though I'm a young furry? Okay, right. Real talk, this is gonna be me being serious now. Because this is a subject about the furry fandom that really, really pisses me off. Because I see tons of these videos on YouTube, like, how to tell your parents you're a furry. Or how to let everyone know, or your friends, that you're a furry. Just... Stop! There is absolutely no reason for them. Why do you think that pretty much 90% of all these coming out as a furry or a brawny videos end up in some fucking cringe compilation? Because you- when you do this kind of shit, you're setting yourself up for laughing stock. I mean, I saw one of these videos called Coming Out as a Furry. It's like, are we seriously going there? Being a furry is not a lifestyle. If you do take it that far, then good luck. But it's not. It's a fucking hobby. If you want to tell someone about it, that, that's fair enough, but you're gonna get laughed at. Or you're gonna get supported. But that's very, very rare. If you want to know the best advice I can give you, just keep your mouth shut. I mean, yes, I can understand if you're gonna be saying, I'm coming out to my parents that I'm gay. That's something different. That's a sexual orientation. This is a hobby. It's entirely different. And if I'm actually quite honest, it's quite insulting. Because there's actually a lot of people who have parents that are quite homophobic. Doing videos about that is actually- it takes balls. Doing furry videos is kind of like- like, coming out as a furry. It's- it's kind of making a mockery of it. Because it's- it's not an orientation. It's a hobby. I mean, another thing that pisses me off is like this t-shirt that's going around is like, Furry and we're proud, get over it. If you wear that shit, you should be fucking curb stomped. So, to the newcomers into the fandom, get this into your head. It's not a lifestyle, it's a hobby. You don't need to let your parents know that you're a furry. Just enjoy your hobbies. And if they want to know, they will ask about it. But if they don't ask about it, keep it to yourself because they don't need to know, nor do they want to know. Okay, rant over. Back to comments. And please, for the love of God, stop these fucking coming out as a furry videos. They are so cringy. I mean, this fucking video is probably gonna end up in a cringe compilation anyway. One Yama channel asks, how many bad Gragon dildos do you have? Uh, none, because I've never actually heard of bad Gragon. What's the weirdest thing that has happened to you at a convention? One of my friends got dry humped. I wouldn't say- I've actually never had anything weird happen to me at a convention. I mean, I did point out that we once spent the first night in our hotel room once, watching Countdown. But that wasn't actually my fault, that was Snuggle Bunny, he came around my room. And not only did we watch Countdown, we watched fucking Tipping Point after that as well. And if you don't know what Tipping Point is, well, you know those, like, 10 pence machines that you put money in and they dangle over the edge and you gotta put money in so more coins get pushed to the side? There's an entire TV show based around that. But if I had to label something, like, weird, this isn't actually a weird one, but if you remember back to the EF vlogs that we did, uh, on the last episode, there's like a big transition there that you guys didn't see. Uh, when we got to the airport, uh, if you remember, we were like sat around the table drinking Red Bull, trying to get rid of it all. Um, what we didn't realize is that we didn't check the time of the flight while we were doing that. Uh, and we ended up missing our flight because we were drinking Red Bull. So in one shot, it's like early morning, and then when we're getting on the plane, it's like 7 at night. All because we were drinking Red Bull, we missed our fucking flight. Your accent is amazing! Oh god, I know what's coming next. When you do a Q&A, or reading comments next, please say bought, Corey. Thanks, man. <gasps> he touched the boat. Hey, Corey, say, say bought a meme, again. guys. Say bought again. I dare you. I dare okay, you. Don't everyone dare you, meme him saying say bought. bought Hashtag bought. 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 Notice me! Cory Coyote makes people happy! He should win a gold YouTube medal! Damn Dog Games saying Boat should be a meme! Fuck no! Please respond to me of what you think of my response comment because Cory Coyote is an awesome person! He is a paradise god! I have no idea why Spellcheck hates me. He should win a gold YouTube medal! Let's help him get to 1 million subs! Agreed! Everyone go get all your friends on every website and texting app and tell them to subscribe to Damn Dog Games! Corey, please respond to these comments saying thank you, I'd love that! You shall win a YouTube silver and gold medal with my help. I'm doing this because I love you, Corey. Good idea!
I hate you, Courage, but I'll do it, because I'm part nice. How do I even respond to this? But if this is genuinely sincere, thank you. I, it really means something. Corey, you should get a t-shirt made of you saying, but I, are you fucking serious? God's sake! No more, please no more. I, are you serious? I, are you kidding me? Notice me, Kari Coyote! Notice me! You have been acknowledged. Right, I think that's enough for today. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I really enjoy doing these videos, they really are entertaining for me, and I actually love reading your comments, just to see what you guys say. And, you know, I love you guys, you, be, you guys have been so good, and I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, this is the end, and I shall see you all in the future video. Bye-bye!